the heck did that one get in here? Did you take a dump on the floor? Ika is about to meet a vicious end if he keeps flying near my face. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to the like button. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> and we're doing it of the new film, the 2023 film. Just came out last week. Portozil. Portozil. Uh, yeah. Portozil. 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 Uh, the new... Uh, action crime thriller uh, film, uh, Tamil film, and uh, the way it's actually currently in theaters. We did not see it in theaters. We did not. Uh, they, they, it is playing one place, but it's about, I want to say, 80 kilometers yes. from us, which is very far. That, <laughs> yes. In LA, it would take us over yes. an hour and a half to two hours just to get there. Correct. Uh, so I, I, I reached out to the uh, producers. Uh, and the, the lead actor in it uh, on, on Instagram and they sent back and they asked the producers if they could send us a screener and they graciously agreed. So thank you guys thank so you. much. Uh, I, I, I do always want to preface this. Obviously we don't do paid reviews. This was just them being kind and uh, allowing us to have a screener of it so we can do a review. Yes. We don't do paid reviews. I think you guys should know that by now. No. Uh, that's correct. In any way, shape, or form. I just we don't to, do paid anything. Yeah. I just want to preface that uh for you guys well we'll, we'll, we'll do paid acting oh easily that will do <laughs> any actually, day of the week actually, that's, that's the only kind of acting i'll do yep. uh but anyways uh it's uh, directed by forgive mispronunciations ladies and gentlemen because it will all be incorrect at least in trying vignesh raja and it looks like he was part writer as well and i believe this is his directorial debut actually yeah i believe that is yeah. correct uh and fucking ego uh, <laughs> yep uh starring nikila vimal Ashok Salvin, R. Sarath Kumar, uh, Nizal Gairavi. Yeah, I know quite a few other people. Those are your, your four main leads. Two of those, I believe, were in actually Pony and Selvan. Uh, R. He was in Pony and Selvan. Mm -hmm. I think he was one of the uh, kings or something like that. And then one of the others as well. Yeah. Um, but it will be, it's still in theaters. So it'll be mostly non-spoiler. If we get into some spoils, we will... We will save it for the end. Uh, save it for the end, and we will tell you before we start spoiling you. Okay? Uh, so, Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts, please. My initial non-spoiler thoughts. I think one of the measurements of the film is going to be based upon something that we don't have a re even remotely close to broad understanding of, mm. which is this genre in Tamil cinema. Mm. If I compare it to this genre in American cinema, that's, I don't think that's a fair comparison, even though it's a comparable genre. So mm -hmm. ultimately my takeaway from was that I liked it. It wasn't a film that I wound up loving. Mm -hmm. I can see why it would be loved, especially based on the fact that this might be pretty groundbreaking in terms of, um, keep going. <laughs> just, it's distracting me. Yeah. <laughs> crime, th crime thriller. So there, that's that's gotcha, my two gotcha. cents. I enjoyed it as well. Um, I had some issues with it that yeah. we'll, that we will talk about uh, and stuff that I uh, mean, just my, not my personal taste. But uh, I was actually in terms of a thriller. It was it kept me engaged and it and, did. And so it it that's the point of a thriller, uh, especially a crime thriller, to keep yeah. you engaged and keep you like. Okay, so who is the killer and what's and, going on? And, and it, I, it did that. So and, it succeeded in its job. And the other thing it, it succeeded in is the fact that I thought I I knew where it was going to go. Yeah. And I didn't. didn't. Yeah. Which is, that's what you want. Absolutely. Uh, so in terms of a crime thriller, especially one that um, I think I was told, like, a lot of people just, this kind of came out of nowhere for a lot of people because it doesn't have a big star. Yeah. It doesn't have, it is first time director. Uh, it was apparently a very small budget that it was it was made on uh, and stuff which, like that. Which is wonderful. Um, so that it, I, in, in terms of an overall thriller, me and my wife watched it and we were like, she even was like <laughs> really nervous at times. She was like, you know, got the, the anxiousness, which is what you want in a thriller. Yeah. Like if you were to compare Obviously, like I said, I'm not really comparing it, but like Seven or or um, what's the um, what's the one with uh, Robert Downey? Um, Zodiac. Oh. Uh, anytime you you know, it's it's a genre that's been around for a long, while, long time in terms of a serial killers out. 
Right. You need to catch them. Right. Um, and so it's it's not like an uncommon, and we've actually seen it in Indian cinema as uh-huh. well. But uh, in terms of, I, I hats off to a first time director because I Absolutely. thought he did a very good job in terms it of. It does not feel like a first time director. Uh, keeping you engaged. Yep. Uh, and also a bunch of really. Cre- I want to shout out the cinematographer because actually there was a lot of really creative yes. shots in this that that were very helpful in also keeping you engaged. And steady. There were a couple of drone shots that felt like yeah. they were on a, a, a long crane. But I know they were drones. They were so high. Yeah, definitely, did, definitely uh, didn't feel like a first-time director. No, not so at all. So hats off to uh, Vid- 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 As well Videsh as the editing, whoever Raja. was the editing team. Um, um, or if it was just the singular editor of uh, Srijith Sarang, and if that's mispronounced, forgive me. I, I found the technical aspects to be pretty, pretty dang good. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, so let's talk about uh, some of the some of the acting real quick. Uh, I really enjoyed um, our say his name, our uh, Sarat Kumar, who plays the basically the older the, cop. Uh, older cop. Yeah, uh, essentially. Also, he would play a great Ron Swanson if uh, they ever did a Parks and Recreation uh, <laughs> <laughs> remake in India. <laughs> he like you know he, he looks the part. Of early Ron on, Swanson. he gave me um, he gave me Kamal Hassan vibes. Yeah, his voice is kind of similar. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed his performance. Uh, I thought he uh, I believed him as the mm-hmm. the longtime hardened cop who's really good at his job that doesn't like doesn't the, have doesn't patience like the rookies, for the rookies. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, and this says we're not giving away any spoilers. This is kind of that's right off the bat. It's a generic it's thing. Generic uh, stuff that happens. I'm sure it's in, we didn't even react to the trailer. Yeah, I just heard a lot about that, and uh, the producers once again kindly sent us a screener. Uh, but I, I I enjoyed his performance a lot. Um, the uh, the other lead actor is a shook mm-hmm. selvin who i thought did a good job mm-hmm. um it was he definitely seemed like a uh, a rookie cop mm-hmm. uh and so i thought he did a good job i thought their chemistry was actually it was it was kind of a crime thriller buddy yeah cop a little bit a little bit yeah uh not like not like our, our buddy but like <laughs> no like and this isn't a fair comparison either, but some of you might know, you know, Lethal Weapon and the relationship between Danny Glover no, and Mel Gibson. I've never seen actual the uh, movie. Oh, Lethal. yeah? I was in the show, uh, like for, yeah. for an episode, but yeah, I'd never actually seen the Mel Gibson, uh, that one. The Danny Glover. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting too old for this shit, right? Yeah, that's I guess, what, yeah. That's what that's from. That's it. That is what that's from. <laughs> um, the... Uh, uh, Oh, I can't. I can't. I don't know if I can say that. But there's a couple other actors. Uh, but she it's was, also there in seven. I mean, you've got the same thing where you yeah. have the seasoned cop with the somebody that's it, yeah, just getting again. involved. Yeah, very. It's uh, very common thing. It's in the genre. It was very similar to a lot of the genres, but it also did some things that were also different, which was nice. Yes. Damn. Uh, <laughs> so um, overall, in, in terms of because it's I you can't really get into a lot of this because there's a lot of stuff that you could spoil. Right. Because it's a crime thriller of right. stuff that's weaving and going in and out of who's the killer, who's not the killer, which blah, makes blah, blah, blah. part of why you either like it or don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. And I think a lot of people will end up enjoying this film. I do I think too. you're going to end up walking away being like, that was a nice thriller. I enjoyed that. And I think the larger we mentioned at, at the very outset, I think the largest thing for this would be um, where this stands in terms of the genre in Tamil cinema. I think that may be one of the reasons it's doing so well, because mm. I, I, I don't know how many of these are done and how well they do at the box office, especially if they don't have star names driving it in some way. Yeah. And it's very encouraging to hear that it's doing really, really well when it is just clearly just driven by story and good performances by the actors and a very, very great debut for a first-time director. If I, if I, if I was a first-time director and this was the finished product, I would oh. be very proud of what I was able to accomplish. 100%. Yeah. Uh, there was some uh, stuff that, uh, in, in terms of, I'm just going to go a little vague into some th- stuff that, that I didn't enjoy as much. There was some tonal changes, uh, either at the beginning or it, kind of in the middle that I was like, I, I would have just preferred to stick to the mm-hmm. to the to genre. There wasn't a lot of that. There was actually most of the time I was very engaged into the story, but there was a few of that. Um, some stuff with the ending we'll talk about um, that. Yeah, <laughs> that that I can't get into. No, um, but you know it could all go just based off personal preference exactly. of, of what you like and what I like. Yeah. Um, and if you've seen it, I'll get into some of that in the spoiler <laughs> section. I'm just not going to get into that now. Yeah. Um, I actually thought a lot of the score was actually really uh, not. It actually reminded me a lot of um, 
Vikram Veda a little bit in terms of okay, I could the, see that the the uh, the background music of it. It's still Tamil, so they probably got a lot of inspiration from because that's a crime thriller as well, uh, not as like a serial killer one, but in terms of like yeah, and this one this one would be more. Uh, story-wise, a little bit more twisty turning. Oh, yeah, easily. A little more complex. Easily. Yeah. Uh, but I liked the uh, the score of it, um, and I thought a lot of it... Um, I th there was times when the tonal switch switched to a little more emotional that it got that Indian little, like, over-the-topness. Right. Over the the Overscoring. That, that wasn't my favorite. Right. But a lot of times when it was in genre that, that, that I would have stuck with, I thought it did a good job. And that, again, is a takeaway that I have to, you know... I've gotten to the place of recognizing, particularly in Indian cinema, any any region, yeah. that what we deem in our Western sensibilities to be the overscoring of a film it's is kind of what normal. kind of normal what they've been doing for a long time, and even the emotional, for lack yeah. of a better term, the manipulation, yeah, yeah, for yeah. lack of a better term, um, I, it, it's it's something that audiences have been so accustomed to that yeah. for them they don't view it that way, no. nor do the creators view it that no, way. No, they get invested in that. So. Part, yeah. I've grown a bit more. It's it's like getting an acquired taste for Bon or Hajmola, <laughs> any of the things that Western tastes are typically not accustomed to. I'm a I'm a lot more. I can take my personal distaste and be more subjective about it than yeah. just initially when we started. I was saying this is an objective reality. You should never overscore. Yeah, I feel that way. Yeah, but when you're talking about cinema that's been this way for so long, again. There's a lot we're still learning, and I can see why those choices would be made. And I didn't, I didn't feel they were manipulative. I'm like you. Yeah, it's just a personal preference. Uh, I definitely liked the fact that this had a lot of twists and turns. I did too. I and, thought it was going to be more simple. Yeah, and it was disappointing me until the first hour because I thought, I know this is where this is going. Yeah. I know where this is going. Yeah. I know, just let's cut to the chase. I know where this is, and it didn't. It, yeah. It it was surprising in yeah. the second half. Uh, in this, I, without giving anything away, there's a like you like yes, that's, that's you're certain that's who did it. Yeah, and some things are done so. In my opinion, it's almost as if it's so heavy-handed. The creators are going, huh? Look yeah. at my cards, huh? Yeah. yeah. And you're thinking this is just not good storytelling, and then you realize, oh, okay, nice. that was a double fake. Mm -hmm. See, so they, they that's got gotcha. you. The, one of the things that they kind of do, like if you've seen Seven, there's there's. There's twists, but there's like, you figure out who the killer is, and that's who the killer is, right? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. And nothing wrong with Seven. Go watch Seven. It's What's amazing. in the box? Yeah. Um, go watch Seven because it's a great film. Um, but, and I actually liked how seemingly pretty graphic in terms of like uh, makeup, the makeup and, hey, and visual effects. Yeah. Shout out to your makeup people because there was some really tight, intimate, close up stuff of some makeup things that if they don't work, your suspension of disbelief is immediately gone, and I thought the makeup crew did a really good job. Yeah. And the pacing of it, I think uh, that was a, a yeah, that's, really good and that's a testament to the editing so, and directing. Yeah. Hats off to the like, overall. Like I said, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed I, it. I would watch it again. Uh, I would recommend it if you haven't seen it. Go watch it because I think it's a, actually a very good thriller in terms of the crime thrillers I've seen in India. Yeah, it's probably one of the the best the, ones I've yeah, seen. I can't. It's better. I, it's up there for me. I'd have I mean, to really think about what crime thrillers you've seen. But I, I put I, Love Hostel in the genre. Of a crime yeah. thriller, but but it's, that's different. Also. It's different because it doesn't have the mystery. No, this has the Agatha Christie style yeah. mystery behind it. Yeah, um, I think the ones that I'm thinking of, well, there's an earphone one, right? That he he was the cop, right? Yes, uh, and he's trying to solve a, a murder case that was taking place in the bedroom, and was it the dad? Was yeah. it the people coming in? So it, it's also it, Sacred Games as a series. Yeah, that is a, this was a reminiscent to me of the kinds of turns you see that yeah. happen where you're trying to figure out. Is that really the yeah. good guy? Is that really the bad in guy? In terms of the, and also one of one of the things that um, was a downside, but I kind of brushed it off as it's budgetary. It is dubbed, not sync sound. Right. I don't really knock that anymore. It's just something that I have to say because I notice it immediately. Always, immediately. Uh, and I always think stuff could be heightened. Yep. If there was sync sound. Yep. I get it in India. I guess that's something that's just more expensive over there to do. Yeah, it's it part is. Of the, it's, once again, it's just part of the culture of filmmaking in and India. It's expensive and it's yeah. also time consuming, which again is money. So I get it. I get it. I don't think it was terrible. It definitely wasn't the worst dubbing I've seen. It's no, just, it was actually some of the better yeah, dubbing. But it could always be heightened, I feel like, if, it, if there's things sound. Because I it can always. actually get the voice on the day with the same emotion all the time. Truly. So, I mean, we can pound the pavement on this forever, but theater is like, storytelling. You need suspension of disbelief. And anything that comes in that 
does not contribute to that suspension of disbelief and pulls you away and makes you remember you're watching a movie rather than being immersed in the story yeah. is doing a disservice to it. And dubbing is nine times out of ten yeah. always going to be a disservice to suspension of disbelief. Yeah. Uh, and, and we've talked about as well the disconnect that happens with the actual emotion that was being expressed in the moment by the actor versus the dubbing artist. The dubbing artist isn't always looking for just the pure genuineness of the in the moment emotion. What they're looking to do is match the emotion. Yeah. And so there's a contrivance that you yeah. can hear. Yeah. It's not genuine. I, like I said, I don't think it was terrible in this. Uh, it was actually quite good, but quite it, good for dubbing. I always notice it when it's yeah. when it's done. Me too. Uh, and once again, some people think that when I say dubbing like they think it's in another language. I know it was filmed in Tamil and we watched it in, we watch Tamil, it in Tamil. But they also dubbed the Tamil into it. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't filmed with sync sound. <laughs> um so that's that's what I'm referring to. But yeah. overall, I enjoyed the film. I think you should watch the film. Go watch it in theaters. I think uh, support small cinema. Absolutely. Uh, and good cinema that that uh will keep you engaged in the theater, especially with a big audience. I think it And it's be very original. Better. Um so that's great. We're going to get into some spoils here about uh, different stuff we liked, different stuff we didn't like, get more a little into more into depth. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it and come back. We're going to get into some spoils. Yeah. Naughty naughty here naughty. Here come boys. the Naughty spoils. Uh, spoilers! Spoilers! Just making sure. There you go. Um, what am I... <laughs> it's it's kind of just common with me. I didn't love the ending in yeah. terms of... I think it could have been great if me it too. ended at the bullet. Yeah. Him shooting. I was like, this would be a great ending if he fires a shot. And you it just... could go black and you don't actually know. Agreed. What happens. Right. I think that would have been a brilliant ending. More mystery. Yeah. They tied a bunch of stuff up, happy, you know, right. make it, making it happy. Oh, could he get the girl? Right. They're going to be buddy-buddy now, buddy cop. Right, they're buddy cops. We've set up a sequel. Like I said, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen. It's just my personal preference. You've heard it probably in, in a, a thousand reviews that I've done now. I just prefer films to always end on the highest impact level scene. Yeah. Uh, and it would have been a brilliant ending if he would have shot the bullet at him, uh, the, 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 the killer. And it went black. And so you don't yeah. know if he hit him. You don't know if the other guy survived. You don't know what happens. You're just like, that was the end. You think you can kind of come up with your own. Yeah. And I understand, you know, if you're talking about writing from the basic ABCs of writing 101, you want conflict, climax, resolution. resolution yeah. You can include resolution in the climax, and it's quite original to do it that way. And that's exactly, I agree with you. Yeah. Had we just gotten the bullet and went black you know you don't need to resolve everything because that kind of resolved it you can let the audience determine what's going on in that regard even whether or not i know you, you want to bring resolution to okay he gets the girl yeah his his older cop who didn't like him at first doesn't die and they're now partners yeah that resolution felt a bit just yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, so, and, but it is also but I get it. it's also one of those things in Indian cinema. Yes, audiences like that. Yes, so I understand. Just like the dubbing, just like the uh, the overscoring, sometimes it's part of it, and so I accept it. It's just I'm, I will always tell you my personal preference, and I think it would have been a brilliant ending if he would have shot the gun and it, it went black. I also thought a couple of right, this is the primary story here early on. I thought our old cop was the killer. Yeah, I, I, they wanted you to think that a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, he's going to be the killer. And when we get to Kennedy, I thought... They really wanted you to think he's the killer. Oh, yeah. it was so. That's what I meant earlier the about showing hair. you the cards. Yeah. It was super and weird. all of his behavior. Yeah. And any time he grabs him. I mean, every time he showed up, it was like I Hannibal am, Lecter. I am glad, because it's one of the things with the writing, that I'm glad he was actually a killer. But not, not the, the killer. killer. Right. Uh, because uh, I was like, he clearly looks like a serial killer. I don't want this to be the killer because that seems a bit obvious. Right. Uh, and so I like that part of the storytelling that they, they made. It was it was a little bait and switch. Um, I also liked the a, attempt is the word I'm looking at, and I think they achieved it. I liked the, um, the idea that they went through, and he says it when he's in the car. And and says, I don't know whether to be angry or feel sad. Mm -hmm. And then our older cop says, Yeah, no, I don't. I don't feel sad for them at all. Uh, and that's because of their two different experiences. But there's a really strong attention to not characterizing the killers as just these sociopathic, 
empty hearted. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're not justifying it, but they're giving an explanation, especially Kennedy's character yeah. as to mm -hmm. what caused him to do what he's doing. Great job by the actor as well. Yeah. I, I thought he, I did, thought a he did a good, very interesting look. Yeah. Uh, It'd be interesting to know what they were talking about on set in terms of how much we're giving away, how much we're not giving away. Yeah. Um, how much the actors actually knew when they were filming. Yeah. I'm assuming they knew everything, but yeah. Yeah, I thought it was it was uh I like definitely that thought through. This was not in any way a lazy script or yeah. a, a lazy interpretation at all. Yeah, I agree. Um a couple of the other things um that I wanted to talk like I didn't understand the family element in the beginning. That like when he went and he finally got to be a cop and then his relationship with his younger brother. I mean, I guess they brought that back at the end uh, with him helping that kid at the end yeah. with, the, with the stuff. But it's just, I was like, that's one of the tonal things that happened like really early on. Yeah, and that and I was like, that was my, my least favorite part of the tonal things and believability was the kid. Yeah. and uh, At the end. Yeah. I just, I, there's, I, mean, I didn't hate it, but I, there was like nothing after the shot that I was like, I don't think any of this was needed. It wasn't needed. It felt really oversimplified in that this abusive mom and dad suddenly see the error of the ways because this guy just showed up and said something to them. And now everything's all fine and dandy and yeah. we're all going to go to Disneyland. I didn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I agree. Um, <laughs> that was probably my biggest gripe with the film was <laughs> the way they tied everything up. Yeah. If you know me and you've been part of the channel for a while, yeah, I just that's not my favorite style of ending of a film. I just I want everything to be sad or just let me figure out the ending and, it is and, and create my own sad ending. It is particular as well <laughs> to the specificity of genre. So I'm far more expectant and celebratory and wanting those kinds of endings in rom coms. Yeah. When it comes to a murder mystery or a drama, I that's not those are more Yeah indicative of one of my, one of my favorite endings in recent memory if you haven't seen it is three billboards over uh Ebbing, oh, yeah, missouri going. I'm not gonna ruin it but that's that's got one of those endings that um uh, is exactly the kind of ending that corbin's talking about yeah um another thing that i actually because in the beginning i was at the love interest with her I was like, I don't know if I like this. Right, me the, too. Um, but I'm glad they kind of just kept it kind of vague. Yep. Even at the end, they didn't get together. They were just like, this could go somewhere. So that 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 was a thing I was fine with. Yep. And I did like that they they didn't have like a love song, something to distract. It would have convoluted the story. story. Yep. And so even though they had it, and they had it because obviously you need to have that connection towards the end when she was the one that was abducted, which was a yep. good, a good twist. Yep. Because. You thought he was going to open the door and have him there, and then there was a whole other twist. Yeah, and, and even little things later on of, holy crap, this goes down to the dimples. Yeah. that I thought that was really... I didn't see that coming. I, I thought the uh, the actual killer in the end was kind of a really creepy guy. <laughs> I thought the actor did a good job. He reminded me a little bit of Bob. Yeah, he does. Same same kind of vibe of the killer being this uh, random there guy you wouldn't expect. Something interesting in the editing style, and it happened like three times in the entire film, and I was like, I chalked it up to them giving a shout out to like Damal Cinema, I guess, was his reflexes. Because mm. I was like, that's kind of strange. Everything else is pretty normal. And then these, these, he has like, obviously it's not weird to have good reflexes, but the way they shot it, almost like he was like almost superhero like in his reflexes. Yeah. And I, I think that goes back to the story he told about throwing the rock up into the tree and knocking the criminal out. I mm. think, I think that is part of what made him feel like I'm designed to do this even yeah. though I don't feel like I have the mentality for yeah. it. Yeah. It was, you know? it was cool. I mean, yeah. he, was, he was like, it's it's jammed. He threw it at him, caught it, and then he, and that this was is how you damn fix cool it. with the gun. <laughs> and if you would have shot it and like it went black, it would have been a, a brilliant ending. I would have loved but, that. And I did like the that tension of he had the gifting and the skill and the training, but there was something else about his particular character and demeanor at least at this point, and that's another nice thing about the fact that his elder statesman probably started off that way too, mm -hmm. and and reached the place of all after all. And I, I appreciated we didn't get a really easy explanation about his scars. Oh yeah, 
it was just this guy's seen some stuff and it's made him who he is and that's all you need to know because he wouldn't tell you. So why should the storytellers tell you? Yeah. I like that. Exactly. Uh, so like I said, it was way more to like in this film yeah. than, than dislike. Um, I think is a, a bright young director uh, for the Tamil industry. Yeah. Uh, I think he has a, a very bright future ahead of him um, and because uh, it, it, it looks like he's he's innovative. He's You also, can sequel this too, by the way, obviously. I think maybe that's why. Yeah. Maybe that's why they did the ending the way they Absolutely. did. Absolutely. Come up. If you've got another good story to go with those two characters, I would be interested. Uh, I'm sure they'll remake this in Hindi and a DJ Devgun will play. <laughs> It doesn't. We could have said this at the beginning, but yeah, this is one of those things where it's. I don't. I don't know what they do with distribution in that regard. So obviously, South India is going to get major distribution. But when it goes up, does a film like this get northern distribution so that there can be some support? in the north or does it not get distribution up there because I know it, it's first week it had less but then it did well and so it got expanded which is yeah. actually why it came to the United States yeah. it just wasn't anywhere near us um, and so it because it, it would make me happy to know that you know Hindi speaking northerners are seeing this film in the same way that I would love to see you know Damilians and the Malayalam and the the Telugu seeing which they do yeah <laughs> they're so, like yeah we don't get a choice that gets rammed down our throat. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, what you thought about it, uh, and what should be the next Tamil film that we watch. And once again, thank you so much to the producers yeah, and the thank director you, thank you for, for sending us the screeners. Uh, not every production. I, I reach out sometimes if we can't find a theater a lot to different productions and uh, to get a screener. Don't always get it. I understand it, but I, I would like I always like to thank them when they, they actually do it because it's very kind. It's and not it's not only kind, it also shows the confidence you have because if you know us, you know I mean, even someone that we know like an Anurag, yeah, it could send us something. And if we don't like it, we're not going to lie just because we love Anurag. Yeah. We're going to be honest. Yeah, we're going to be so honest. So it's a, it's a it's a very confident thing to say watch my film and look at it, guys. Have we got a screener that we haven't liked? Not yet. No. In terms of when we get No, when we screen. get one from creators, not yet. Yeah, I don't know. I had to go back, but I don't think we have. No. I mean, there's some we've, like this one, where we've said we really liked it. We wouldn't say that we loved the film, mm -hmm. but there hasn't been one we disliked. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. go watch this film. Let us know what you thought about it in the comments below.